And we're back. Today we will be uh, making connections with the Arduino board. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so first we're going to do is plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. And the purpose of this project is to learn how a breadboard works. We've got power. What color do you want? Blue. First word is blue. We have a blue LED. Blue. So what I'm going to do with the blue LED is I'm going to plug it into plug the the uh, anode, which you'll learn all about anodes and things in the future, into the five volts. And I'm going to take a resistor. Resistor. A 330 ohm resistor. And plug that into ground. Actually, I'm going to do it from this ground all the way on this side. So over here, I have a... I do not yet have a circuit because the, there is no loop of electricity. And I have a, a resistor on this side. I have an LED on that side. And when I touch them together, when I touch them together, you can see the circuit is connected or closed. When the circuit is closed, we have light. When the circuit is closed, we have light. And when the circuit is open or broken, we do not have light. Okay, great. So what are you to gain from this knowledge? We're going to do the same exact thing with a breadboard. So it doesn't matter wire colors you use, but I'm going to use red for the voltage source, and I'm going to use black for the ground. So notice I'm plugging them into the exact same pins, and so I'm just going to plug the uh, LED, in this case, into um, F10 and F8. I'm going to plug the power source into J10. I'm going to plug the resistor from J8 to J6. And I'm going to plug my ground into F6. And you see, we have created a circuit. Because the breadboard has connected. So it would be exactly the same as if I took these two wires and just touch them. But since I'm putting them into the breadboard, the breadboard has the metal behind it and it makes the connections. And there's the breadboard. 